Hi guys, welcome back. This video will be about lock combination. How I took this two-headed dragon or this lock that we combined from the root and how I seamlessly combined the rest of it to look like it's always been one lock. So as you guys know, Jamal combined his locks um, at the root over a year ago and that video is still on this channel if you guys want to go watch it. And this is what they look like now. So before we do this maintenance, which will be another video about his maintenance and updating you guys on his locks, I'm just going to show you guys how I combine these locks here. So first, basically, I'm going to create some loose hairs because his hair is mature combining locks is best done in the earlier stages of locking when you're in the later phases like the teenage phase and the elder phase it's a bit hard and it's a bit hard to do it without um disrupting the structure of the locks the structure that they have naturally or um created so i'm gonna have to create a bit of frizz to help me get it seamless and that's what i'm doing here pulling out some hair out of the locks not too much to damage it but enough to give me um, some artificial frizz and if you guys haven't noticed i'm doing a youtube challenge called no break november and this is where i upload a video every day in november um, at least attempt to upload a video every day in november um, so definitely stay tuned let me know what you guys would like to see and that brings me to my members those of you who are members of my channel um, there is a video in the member section that details all the perks you guys are entitled to um, so please review the video contact me and let me know how you would like to redeem your perks and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see on the member only section of this channel also, I will be doing a lock extensions class in New York City. If you all are interested, please contact me at dxlynlocks at gmail.com. And I have three cities that I want to hit up this month, the month of November. It is Toronto, Dallas, and New York. If you all are interested, email dxlynlocks at gmail.com with the city, one of those three cities. Those are the only three cities that I will be hitting up this month. So. Go email dxlynlocks at gmail.com and show your interest or just let me know of your interest because if there is not enough interest for those cities, there will be no point in coming. So definitely please let me know if you're interested and I will come to your city if you are in Toronto, Dallas, or New York City. All right, so once I've done that to both of them, I'm going to start combining them together both of the ends i'm going to combine them together starting at that fork in the road or that split okay trying to focus the camera now i'm going to use that frizz that i pulled out that um, quote unquote frizz that i pulled out and i'm going to use that to pull in and out of the other locks to combine the other lock the neighboring locks to combine it and this is a very tedious process I know sometimes videos make things look easy this is simple but it's not easy it's very very tedious it takes a lot of time the thicker the locks the the more physical strain there is to interlock them the more mature the locks the more physical strain is involved when it comes to combining them so this is pretty much the beginning of where i combined and i'm using a um, crochet tool of mine you guys can find it in the link below if you want to purchase it it is a three prong needle that I sell on my Etsy shop it is the 0.5 size and I'm using this I usually like attaching lock extensions with the 7.5 because 
it is bigger and it gives me more of a more control but with this one because I'm working with the natural hair I am using the 0.5 so I can be a little bit more gentle and not cause as much damage because his hair is mature I'm having to um, do more than I would do with someone's hair who's not mature but I also don't want to damage it to the point where it thins out I'm gonna let you guys listen to what it sounds like in real time what it sounds like with this needle going through the lock several times what that actually sounds like this time was just put up that one I was listening to before this one mm -hmm. I just put up today I think it already been played 36,000 times oh wow <laughs> Okay, so as you heard, that doesn't sound very pleasant, unless you're into that ASMR stuff. But it doesn't sound very pleasant. It's It sounds like the hair is ripping. And it really, literally is not because the hooks are so tiny. It's just the sound of the hook letting go of the hair. But it can be damaging if someone is just, you know, sticking the hook in and pulling it out, sticking it and pulling it out. If you pay attention, you'll see that whenever I take the hook out, I kind of um, kind of do like a C-shape out of the hair. So it lets go of it instead of rips it apart. If, if you do it like that, you won't have that artificial frizz. You'll just have a lock that's just chewed up because you didn't pull the hair out. You ripped it out, if that makes sense. So once again, I'm showing you guys what the needle looks like. DXLYN bamboo needle, 0.5 millimeters that is the size that I'm using right now but as I said before I prefer the 0.75 when I'm doing lock, lock extensions when I'm doing natural hair I use the 0.5 to be more gentle on the natural hair so pretty much I kept doing this and doing one of his locks took me 15 minutes of continuous crocheting and now I'm going to palm roll it to try and help form the shape and put the frizz in the place that I want it to be. And then I'm going to go back in once more and continue to crochet and polish so it doesn't look like two locks sitting next to each other. Rather, I want it to look like one lock that has never been split. So we're going to continue to crochet and I'm showing you a close up. You can kind of see through it a little bit. Although it's it's um, crocheted, it's crocheted pretty tightly, but you can still kind of see through it. And we don't want that, so I'm going to go back in and continue to crochet. So after that, I sprayed some distilled water on his lock just to make it more um, able to be manipulated, more malleable. That way it'll be more polished and I'm able to give it more of the cylindrical shape that I am going for. And here I'm using a single needle, it's still a 0.5 size, to further polish it to do like fine detail work just to make sure I get that shape and make sure I get my frizz and I utilize my frizz um, to get the lock to look like it was one lock from the beginning. And this is the finished product. Just showing you guys the texture, the shape, and it blends into where he joined at the root. So now what we're gonna do is do his maintenance. I'm gonna wash and retwist and style. So stay tuned for that um, to see what how this lock held up in a wash. And I do have other lock combination videos, or at least I think one more lock combination video on this channel. Seamless lock combination, you guys can go watch it. I will link it in the video so you can find it easily. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the maintenance video. I will also be updating you guys on what is going on with his hair. 
so far at four plus years. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.